<laughs> well, I want to express my gratitude to the members of the United States Senate for their approval of the sale of the AWACS defense system to Saudi Arabia. Today, I think we've seen the upper chamber at its best. The United States Senate has acted with statesmanship, with foresight, and with courage. I can't fully express my gratitude to Senator Baker and the other Senate leaders, Democrats as well as Republicans, who played such a crucial role in this decision. Today's action by the Senate will not only strengthen Saudi American relations, but will also protect our economic lifeline to the Middle East, win favor among moderate Arab nations, and most important, continue the difficult but steady progress toward peace and stability in the Middle East. We've acted in concert to demonstrate that the United States is indeed a reliable security partner. Our friends should realize that steadfastness to purpose is a hallmark of American foreign policy. While those who would create instability in this region should note that the forces of moderation have our unequivocal support in deterring aggression. This vote alone doesn't mean that our security problems in that part of the world have been completely solved. This package is but a part of our overall regional security strategy. Our strategy seeks to enhance the capacity of friendly states to defend themselves and to improve our own ability to project our own forces into the region should deterrence fail. We'll continue to pursue efforts in both areas. Our support for the security of Israel is, of course, undiminished by today's vote. The United States will maintain its unshakable commitment to the security and welfare of the state of Israel, recognizing that a strong Israel is essential to our basic goals in that area. Much work still remains ahead. I trust that all of us who disagreed openly and vigorously in recent days can now put aside our honest differences and work together for common goals, friendship, security, and peace at last in the cradle of our civilization. Because of actions like today's by the Senate, the cause of peace is again on the march in the Middle East. For this, all of us can be grateful. When did you knew you had won? When they came in and handed me the votes. <laughs> and didn't you know earlier today that you counted up? A little while ago this afternoon, uh, uh, I felt that the count was, uh, uh, that at least we were going to be assured of a tie, and that would have been a victory because it required a majority vote to, uh, to stop this. Do you think this will be an inducement to get the Saudis into the Middle East peace process now? Uh, yes, I do. I think that, as a matter of fact, the, the Saudis have shown by their own introduction of a peace proposal that they are willing to, uh, to discuss a peace in the Middle East. With Egypt and Israel? What? With Egypt and Israel? Yes, they submitted a plan. We couldn't agree with all the points, uh, nor could the Israelis, but uh, it was the first time that they had recognized uh, Israel as a nation, and uh, it's, a, it's a beginning point for negotiations. What do you think this vote means for your ability to conduct uh, the Office of the Presidency? I think that it's going to be, uh, it's going to have a very good effect. We had heard from uh, many leaders uh, who had expressed their concern about what this could mean uh, in the whole world scene. Uh, if it had not turned out the way it did. Now, Do you think it would help you win the budget to fight ahead, the next budget round? I don't know. I, I don't know whether the two are connected at all. Is there one aspect of what you told the senators that you think was a convincing aspect? What, what final thing do you think turned the tide in the last few days? Well, contrary to some of the things that have been said, there have been no deals made. None were offered. I talked strictly on the merits of of the proposal, and basically I tried to point out uh, in every instance uh, the progress that has been made so far uh, in the Middle East towards stability and peace and the part uh, that was played in that by uh, Saudi Arabia and Prince Fahd, beginning with the ceasefire that we were able to secure in, in Lebanon in which they played a major role. And I simply played on that that this I felt was essential for the security of Israel, for the entire Middle East, and for ourselves on the world scene. Are you foresee any circumstance under which by 1985 this sale might be canceled and the Saudis aren't cooperating in the Middle 
Well, it would be, I would think that the only thing that could happen uh, to make us not fulfill that would be if by some chance the uh, radical elements that we know are there and that have made themselves tragically evident in the last uh, few weeks, uh, that if they uh, should gain control in the Middle East uh, and, get, and gain control of, of all of